DEFRA, RAP Cymru and Zero Waste Scotland commission field experiments from a research team led by ADAS. Their goal is to find out how farmers can maximise the fertiliser value of digestate produced from anaerobic digestion. The experiments will compare the effects of digestate and compost applications on soil and crop quality. They will also look at how much nitrogen is available to the crop from digestate and emissions to the air and water. The experiments began in 2010 when there were 23 AD plants operational in the UK. There are now over 150 and their number is growing rapidly. The digestate produced from the process is a rich source of readily available nitrogen as well as some phosphate and potash but we need to make sure that it's applied when the crop can take up the nitrogen most effectively to gain the most financial and agronomic value from its use and to do our best to reduce potential losses to the environment. Digestate can be used whole from the digester or can be separated to a fiber and liquor product. When nitrogen is applied, whether from fertilizer or organic manures, not all of it's taken up by the crop. Some of the nitrogen applied may be lost to the environment in various ways, as ammonia and nitrous oxide gases emitted to the atmosphere, or leached as nitrate to groundwater. Nitrous oxide is a powerful greenhouse gas, and ammonia can affect air quality and harm sensitive ecosystems. Nitrate leached through the soil can be detrimental to groundwater quality. The research provides farmers with the information to make sure that the losses are minimised and that more of the nutrients are available to be used by the crop. We visit the experiments using whole digestate from food waste and farm livestock manures. John Williams, principal research scientist with ADAS, explains. These experiments at Puspeyran were set up in 2011. This is one of three experimental sites around the UK. The others are at Northwick in Devon and at Wensum in Norfolk, where detailed measurements are being carried out to measure the amount of nitrogen from digestate that is available to the crop and how much may be lost to the environment. The experiments will measure losses of ammonia and nitrous oxide to the air and nitrate and phosphorus losses to water following application of digestate and other manures used by farmers, such as livestock slurries, farmyard manures and compost. Different application techniques, including band spreading and shallow injection, have been used to see how they affect losses to the atmosphere and the supply of crop available nitrogen. Small wind tunnels are used to measure ammonia losses following application. In another part of the field, nitrous oxide, methane and carbon dioxide losses are measured using static chambers. The chambers are placed into the crop immediately after application. They are designed to fully enclose the crop without damaging it. Samples of air are taken periodically and analysed using a gas chromatograph. Findings from the experiments and guidance on digestate and compost use can be found on the RAP website 